Welcome back. If you're joining us on this journey, you know that we are testing every single mask on Amazon. And for our next uh, review, we are looking at this unbranded, weirdly packaged mask. I hate when I order something on Amazon and it looks like, you know, all nicely, uh, you know, prepared and then it shows up in a weird bag like that. Just doesn't feel great. But, you know, maybe these are great masks. We're going to find out for you. Let's test them. Got it? This is a PFE machine. If you want to learn more about how this machine works, I'm going to put a link uh, below in the description. Um, but basically, we're going to try to figure out how many particulates this will stop if you're wearing this mask. Again, I don't love the, the way this packaging looks. It doesn't make me feel like it's sanitary. You know, I got to put this on my face and all. Um, so they're wanting you to wear the mask backwards. The way a mask is supposed to be worn is with the, uh, the ear loop welds on the outside. The reason for that is that's what gives you a better seal, okay? This is designed backwards because, well, it, they're suggesting it looks better, I guess. But yeah, it's a very weird uh, look. Very strong though. Oh, spoke too soon. Let's try again. Yours was good? I think it's, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. That's a good mask. It, that was a fluke. I've seen a lot of masks, even today, and I have never seen a mask that is this weird. Um, so the smell is, is like not too bad. Uh, the airflow resistance is uh, about 119, which is kind of higher, but um, you know, our masks typically are around that edge. You want it to be below 150, that's the goal. If it's below 150, that means it's gonna be very breathable. You can wear it for you know, many, many hours on, on time. So the reason the breathability on this is low is either A, it has really high filtration, which based on the packaging, I doubt, uh, though the machine will tell us, uh, or it's because this is a very thick outer layer and it's just harder to breathe. Smells not terrible. No, it's not that bad. No, this is probably in the top 10% of best smelling masks. And, you know, while this packaging is very weird, it does look like it would protect against smell. So, I mean, the seal on that sucker is, is really good. Not the best look, but again, you know, not a terrible mask. So, question is, what is it going to do? Now, again, the goal for this machine is to find a mask that has a, a particulate filtration of 95%. That's the basement in the United States. We want to see something at 95% or higher. So the question is, what do you think the Dusty Rose mask in the random bag on Amazon comes in at? It doesn't claim anything, but I'll go ahead and give it like a 90. You're going to give it 90? It came in at 88.98%. 88.98%. Yeah, so a little bit below 90. Um, if all you're looking is for some you know, lingerie looking thing to wear on your face, like this may be your answer. But if you want something to hit the minimum standards of you know, 95 or, or above, this isn't gonna be it. If this has been any help at all, this one was a little weird. Yeah. I didn't like this. I didn't like the way this one. <laughs> uh, so I don't know that I would like this video, but uh, I'm asking you to because I hold myself to different standards than I hold you to. And that's just how I get down. Thanks very much. I'll see you on the next test. <laughs> Thank you.